Dr. Whipple, before the break, you were telling us about the importance of dreams. Yes, our dreams generally show the kind of lives we secretly want to live. They're <sighs> often about the world the way we wish it could be. He's right, you know. Huh? I sometimes dream about being a superhero. <laughs> Strong, <laughs> smart, invincible. <laughs> uh, what do you dream about, Garfield? Uh, pasta mostly. There he is, the test subject for my latest invention, and he doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> Doctor, is there any way to control what others dream about? I suppose if someone could control the dreams of others, that person could rule the world. Yes, I can and I will. I have only two dreams. One is to rule the world. Is that asking so much? Nathan, it's past your bedtime. Go to bed. Oh, and before you do, take out that garbage. Duh. Yes, Mother. I'll be in bed just as soon as I finish my homework. And my other dream is to never, ever again be told to go to bed or take out the garbage. Perfect. He is, as he so often is, Sound asleep. I'm gonna give that cat the worst nightmare he has ever had. But first, to lull him into a false sense of happy, I will give him a good dream. <laughs> the best dream he has ever had in his life! <sighs> Thank you for letting me sleep for several days, John. Oh. What's for breakfast? I didn't know what to make you for breakfast, so I just made infinite lasagna. Infinite lasagna? That's like almost forever. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can, cat. <laughs> And remember, Garfield, there's plenty more where those came from. I remember. I remember. I have the results of your checkup, Garfield. Everything's great. Go on eating everything you want. In fact, you could stand to gain a few pounds. <laughs> huh? What's that, boy? You want me to throw the stick so you can fetch it? <laughs> you never want me to throw the stick so you can fetch it? Never again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. I know throwing the stick. I won't have to throw the stick. Garfield, we want you to know. We'll never dress you up in women's clothing ever again. Oh, and sorry about the bridal gown last Tuesday. Although you did look stunning in it. Huh? Hi, Garfield. From now on, I'm going to save you the trouble of tormenting me. I'll just deliver your mail here. <laughs> then I'll throw myself into a mud hole. <laughs> bravo! Bravo, Arthur, Arthur! Boy, <laughs> great things are happening to me all of a sudden. I wonder what other dreams of mine could come true. Cat, I'm a very rich man. I have a large sack of money, and I don't know what to do with it, so you might as well have it. Here. <clears throat> Ouch. Works for me. Garfield, <laughs> I'm going to give you and your show a rave review. It's so funny and exciting. Oh, and this dream sequence is absolutely brilliant. I'm going to give you four stars. <laughs> And Ivy. Garfield! I just wanted you to know, since nobody likes me on this show, I'm quitting! And I'll never be on here again! Goodbye forever! Oh, now that you got rid of her, five stars, maybe six! I'm coming huh? to you live from downtown, where every attractive female for miles around is flocking to the cutest cat in the world. Normal's here? Oh, wait, this is my dream. It's me. <laughs> mm. 
from miles around, they've come just for the chance to be near him and perhaps pet him. He's so adorable, I think I'll join them. Hey, wait for me, I saw him first. Whoa, hey, don't push, ladies. <sighs> well, I might as well admit it. Garfield is much cuter than I am. I guess he's always been, and I, I just didn't want to admit it. I'm sorry, Garfield. I'm sorry for all the grief I caused you. I'm sorry for all those times I woke you up. I'm sorry for all the times I was so obnoxious that you had to put me in a box and just spend all that money mailing me to Abu Dhabi. I'll make sure you never have to do it again. I'm sending myself there, and you'll never see my not as cute as I thought it was face again. So long, Nermo. If you see Aunt Ivy, tell her not to come back either. No more, huh? Nermo. Oh. Eight stars. No, don't no, no, make that ten. Oh, just take all the stars and the box they came in. All of you, get away from him. I saw him. First. Oh. Oh. Arlene. I finally appreciate how wonderful you are. Well, I've been telling you that for years. Garfield! I have a few hundred of pizzas here I don't know what to do with. Would you mind eating them? Oh, for you, Vito. Anything. Oh, I take back every <laughs> bad thing I ever said about you. Even that remark about your stomach looking like an overinflated basketball. Can you possibly, possibly forgive me? I'll consider it. All right. Enough of the good dream. Time for the bad dream. See, then? Bedtime and garbage. Duh. In a moment, Mother dear. Right now, bad dream time. Welcome to your worst nightmare, Garfield! <laughs> no, Arlie. I know I'm an adorable, adorable cat, but you don't have to give me such expensive gifts. Oh, John, John, what's for breakfast? Raisins! From now on, you eat nothing but raisins! Raisins? Raisin pie, raisin sandwiches, raisin bread without the brand, raisin chow mein, raisin tacos! <laughs> oh, but I am making spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> Except that instead of the spaghetti, I'm using raisins! And instead of the meatballs, I'm using raisins! <laughs> I checked out your diet, Garfield. It turns out what you should be eating is absolutely nothing ever again! <laughs> 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 no, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. No, I will... Yeah, you get the idea. Garfield, remember that sack of money I gave you? Oh, this one? I forgot to deduct taxes from that. Here, this is what you get to keep. I would have taken that and put it towards your pizza bill. <laughs> oh, how could this nightmare get any worse? Well, that's how. <laughs> it's a bold fashion statement. It's a trend-setting look. I think it's tacky and cheap. And that's zero stars. And your stomach does look like a basketball. An overinflated one. I've got to get out of this nightmare. <laughs> you can't get out of it. It's in your head, and as long as my machine is working, that's where it will stay. Nathan, <laughs> skip the garbage for tonight, but go to bed. Yes, darling mother. All right, all right, I'll go to bed, but Garfield's nightmare will continue. This just in, the city has voted to ban lasagna and to declare that from now on, every day of the week will be Monday. <laughs> I've got to get out of this nightmare and these clothes. Hey, Garfield, I've got some packages for you. Hi, Garfield. I'm back. Hi, Whoa. Garfield. Hi, Garfield. Back. Back. Hi, Garfield. Back. Ah! No, no, things could not get any worse. 
Wait a minute. Every time I say things can't get worse, they get worse. See? I'm back too. And from now on, I'm gonna be in every episode. <laughs> ah! <laughs> when will this nightmare ever end? It will what? when you want it to. Don't you remember what I said? We make our own dreams. Yeah? So we can control our own dreams. In your case, here's what you need to do. Uh, Nathan, that evil boy genius across the street? I should have known. Thanks, Dr. Whipple. Don't mention it. Wake ya! Wake ya! Wake ya! <laughs> You know, this is a lot more entertaining than half the shows on TV. Now this is the ultimate dream. Commercial message from... Commercial, commercial for, for Darcy's, Darcy's Donuts! Donuts. Commercial, commercial for Darcy's, Darcy's Donuts. Donuts! Someone other than Darcy's Donuts! <laughs> Rats! I was hoping for a Darcy's Donuts commercial. You know, there's a good chance there could be Darcy's Donuts here any minute now. Today's my birthday, you know, and <laughs> since all my friends know how much I love Darcy's Donuts, I'm hopeful one of them will send me a dozen. Mm. <clears throat> you knock? I did. Any word from your mouse friends at the Darcy's Donuts factory? <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> oh, nice. And that sounds like the mailman now. Gee, I wonder what he's bringing John. <laughs> uh, Mr. Post. Afternoon, Mr. Arbuckle. Happy birthday. Well, happy birthday to you, too. <laughs> Kinda neat that we both have the same birthday. Makes it easy for me to remember yours. <laughs> now, I have here... Oh, wait. Uh, something I gotta do first. Uh, ah. Happy birthday to John. Happy birthday to John. I hope this day is pleasant. Please enjoy your present. Happy birthday to John. Here's your package. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Post. Happy birthday to you, too. Oh, 
I hope this is what I hope it is. And that someone doesn't get to them before I do. Darcy's donuts. Hurry up, open it up. <gasps> uh, all right. <laughs> okay, now calm down, guys. I'm not going to be greedy. Good, I'll take all 12, Odie. And you can have the box. give you each one donut. One! <laughs> it's my birthday, and the rest of them are mine. And I'm going to save them until after lunch. One! Shall we? <laughs> the donut, nature's most perfect food. But I will not be satisfied with one. I must get another Darcy's donut. I must get another Darcy's donut. Preferably all of them. <laughs> no, it's not wrong to take all the donuts John just got for his birthday, and I'll tell you why later. Right now, I need inspiration. Chocolate cream filled donut. Ah. Raspberry filled donut. Whoa. Lemon filled donut. Ah. Anchovy filled donut. Yeah. Strawberry filled donut. Whoa. <laughs> I've got to get some of those donuts. <laughs> this is an odd one. A donut filled with dog food. I'm coming, I'm coming! Wonder who this could be. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Trick or treat? But it's not Halloween. <laughs> uh, don't cry, little boy, don't cry. I'll get you a treat. <laughs> Here, I couldn't find any candy, so I'm giving you one of my birthday donuts. One? <laughs> all right, all right. Here's another one, but that's it. Oh. Mm. Well, four down, eight to go. All I wanted was my Darcy's donuts, and you had to go eat them all. I offered you one, but that wasn't enough for you. You had to eat them all. You had to go. Uh, Mr. Hartbuckle, would you please take these packages? 
This one is from your Aunt Ivy. This one is from your brother, Doc huh. Boy. This is from Liz. This is from your parents. See, Pooch? This is why I wasn't worried about eating all of John's donuts. Squeak's friends at the bakery told him, and he told me... That everyone John knows ordered donuts for him. These are all D -D Darcy's donuts? Looks that way. This one's from Vito. I think it's pizza donuts. Here's one from that girl, Angie, in Australia. <sighs> well, that's the last of them. If you'll excuse me, I need to go sit down. Or fall down or something. <laughs> Now I guess the question is, how are we going to eat all these donuts before they go stale? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> can I help? <laughs> Here, I brought you some more donuts in person, so I can help you eat yours! Well, pitch in. We've got so many donuts, even Garfield can't eat them all. Hmm. I always rise to every challenge. Please raise sour cream donut. Ooh. <laughs> Maple donut. Ooh. Oh, and here's another one of those dog food donuts. <laughs> Pumpkin donut. <gasps> There's something I need to do. Spice donut with those little chocolate sprinkles I just love. Ah. Some birthday. I delivered cards and packages all day, but none for me. No, why should anyone care that it's my birthday? I'm just the mailman. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> A wish. You know what I wished for, Garfield? I wish that you'd go a whole week without doing anything rotten to me. Well, that wish thing doesn't always work. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. The party never ends as long as you have friends. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. It's you. Happy birthday to me. So true. We always celebrate this very special date. Happy birthday to me. This is the story of the pie, the cat, and the bulldog of doom. This is the pie. This is the cat. And this, for reasons that will become apparent, is the bulldog of doom. Especially if you're a cat. One day, Miss Generic Housewife model baked a pie. The aroma began to make its way to surrounding homes. And there's a curious thing about this neighborhood. No matter which way the wind is blowing, the smell of something freshly cooked will always somehow make its way to the nostrils of this cat. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bruno's decided to help himself to that elderly gentleman's lunch. Wow. Even I wouldn't do something that rotten. <laughs> Bruno! What are you doing eating here? Why aren't you over on Crestview Avenue? That's where I'm heading. What's over on Crestview Avenue? You don't know? 
Oh, nothing. There's nothing going on over there. Uh, I'll see you later. What's going on over on Crestview <laughs> Avenue? Like I said, nothing. No, there's no free all-you-can-eat pancakes festival. Ooh, is it free all-you-can-eat pancakes festival? Who told you? Uh, why am I bothering with this crummy sandwich when I could be eating all the pancakes I could eat? <laughs> Here. You can eat this. Pancakes, here I come! <laughs> Bruno's not the brightest character on the series. If there were free pancakes over on Crestview Avenue, do you think I'd be here? <laughs> hey, my lunch! Somebody stole my lunch! <laughs> oh, thank you, kitty cat. You deserve a reward. <laughs> Would you like half a peanut butter and chicken salad sandwich? No. And it was about then that the aroma of freshly baked pie reached the cat's nostrils. That smell. I know that smell. I know that smell. I love that smell. Pie! Pie. Oh, wonderful pie. Apple pie, peach pie, cherry pie, boysenberry pie, coconut pie. Any berry pie. Pie with ice cream on the top, pie with ice cream on the side. But it didn't really matter what kind of <laughs> pie it was. Scientific testing has shown that this particular cat will eat just about anything. Uh, tuna sandwich on whole wheat bread. Mm. He eats it. Shrimp chow mein with crispy noodles. <laughs> he eats it. Bean burrito with a side of nachos. <laughs> he eats it. Meat lasagna. He eats it. And the plate it's on. Two three-minute eggs and home fries. He eats it. Uh, chicken fried steak. All in all, he eats it. they tested 7,423 foods that afternoon. He eats it. And discovered that the only ones the cat would not eat were... Anchovies on pizza, most healthy foods, Anything that resembles yogurt, John's meatloaf, a peanut butter and chicken salad sandwich, and raisins. Raisins? Yuck. You know how they make raisins? They take gravel and they soak it until it wrinkles. This is useful information, Dr. Whipple. Thanks. We'll be heading home now. Oh, and on the way home, could we stop for hot dogs? And so the cat followed the wonderful aroma all the way to the house in the next block. Lemon meringue pie, chocolate meringue pie, meringue meringue pie. It was there that he found the source of the wonderful aroma. Pie. Unfortunately, he saw something else there. It was... <laughs> the bulldog of Yes. Between the cat and the wonderful smelling pie, there stood but one obstacle, the bulldog of doom. The cat looked at the pie. Then he looked at the bulldog. Then he looked at the pie again. Then he looked at the bulldog again. Then the pie, then the bulldog, then the pie, then the bulldog. And finally, he came to the conclusion that any sane pie-loving cat would reach. I'm giving up. No, I'm not. I can't leave that delicious smelling, beautiful looking, whatever kind of pie it is pie, they're uneaten like that. I must brave the bulldog of doom. <laughs> Go to sleep, my baby, my baby, my baby. Go to sleep, my baby. I'm going to eat the pie. <gasps> I'm almost to the pie. I'm almost to my demise. No, no, stop! I don't want pie! Nice food, Dr. Well, now you know why he's called the Bulldog of Doom. If I know me, I'm gonna go after that pie, and the Bulldog of Doom will do me. How can I stop me? 
The cat thought and thought and thought, and finally he had an idea. Hey, in John's old magic act, he had a pair of handcuffs. As ideas go, it wasn't a very good one. But sometimes a bad idea is huh? better than no idea at all. All right now, Odie. Do you understand what I'm doing here? Uh-huh. <laughs> Look, it's very simple. Over on the next block, there's pie. I do not want to go over there and try to get the pie. And do you know why I don't want to go over there and try and get the pie? Because the pie is being guarded by the Bulldog of Doom. <gasps> to prevent me from being tempted to go over and get the pie at the expense of my life, I have handcuffed myself to this post here. Huh? And here is the only key. Uh -huh. Okay, I want you to keep this key for me. Hold on to it, and no matter how much I ask for it, do not, I repeat, do not give it back to me. Is that clear? <laughs> Wait a minute. It's a pie. I'm Garfield. I ought to be able to figure out a way to get my paws on that pie. Odie, bring me the key. <laughs> Odie, I told you not to give it to me no matter what I said. Huh? Do you want me to be doomed by the Bulldog of Doom? <laughs> then don't give me the key. <sighs> I wonder what kind of pie it is. Maybe rhubarb pie, or pecan pie, or pumpkin pie. <gasps> what if it's pumpkin pie? <gasps> oh, I'll bet it's pumpkin pie. Warm, creamy, delicious pumpkin pie. I don't care if there's a bulldog of doom guarding it. Buddy, bring me the key. Hurry. <laughs> Aren't you hearing a word of what I said? No matter what I say, no matter how I beg or order you, do not, I repeat, do not give me back the key. Do you understand, Odie? <laughs> now, temptation won't make me go after that pie and get doomed by the bulldog of doom. Here, I'm safe. There he is. I'm not safe. Free all-you-can-eat pancake festival, huh? It's the Bruno of Doom. I'd better go hide in another country. <laughs> the handcuffs! <laughs> Odie, Odie, I need the key to these handcuffs. <laughs> no, I know I said not to give them to me, but <laughs> give them to me. <laughs> Odie, if you don't give me that key, Bruno's gonna flood me like the free all-you-can-eat pancakes. <laughs> What do you mean you're too smart to fall for that? He's here, Odie. Free all you can eat pancakes on Crestview Avenue, huh? Did I say Crestview Avenue? I meant uh, uh, View Crest Avenue. They have pancakes there and syrup and all. Uh, oh. Take this. Oh, on this. Hey, would you believe free waffles? Uh, oh, uh, Odie. Now you give me the key. Great. Now I'll probably be tempted to go after that pie, and then the Bulldog of Doom will do the same thing to me. It was at that moment that the cat had what seemed like a pretty good idea. It was that great kind of idea that can solve two problems at the same time. In this case, the two problems were the big cat bully and the severe lack of pie. Pie? Oh, no. I'm not falling for another one of your tricks, Garfield. No, really, it's pie. Can't you smell it? Now that you mention it. I'm still not sure what kind of pie it is. Might be coconut cream, might be cinnamon pear, might be a uh, chicken pot pie. Hey, it is pie. If I know anything, I know when there's a pie. So, I was thinking we could split it and... We ain't splitting nothing. I'm taking the whole thing for myself. Uh, okay, if you say so, Bruno. Oh, Bruno! Uh, did I remember to warn you about the Bulldog of Doom? Bulldog of Doom? Uh, no, you didn't say anything about any Bulldog of Doom. Oh, sorry. I forgot to mention there's a Bulldog of Doom. Bulldog of Doom? Ah! Help! Help! Bulldog of Doom! The cat 
was very proud of his cleverness as he made his way to the now unguarded pie. But he had another surprise. Oh, did you smell the pie I baked, little cat? Mm. Would you like some of it? Well, here. You take the whole thing. I'll bake another. It's the only kind of pie I know how to make. Raisin pie. <laughs> so, uh, by any chance, is that half a peanut butter and chicken salad sandwich still available? Hey, cats gotta eat. started as some good things do on a bleak and rainy day. In the Arbuckle house, a man named John was concerned about his cat. I don't know what it is, Liz. He's just been moping around looking kind of glum. I don't think he's sick or anything. What did you mean when you said he had no enthusiasm? Mm. Watch, I'll show you. Uh, Garfield, I'm baking a ton of sausage lasagna. Aren't you excited? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Something's very, very wrong. And I have no idea what it is. Even if I could talk and tell you, John, you wouldn't understand because I don't understand. It's like I don't even matter. All I do is eat and sleep and eat and sleep. Oh, yeah. I also throw the stick so Odie can fetch it. I'm meaningful. And a little while later, the rain had stopped, as the rain always does. Garfield had been cooped up inside for days, so he decided to go out for a little walk. But he headed for the end of maybe the most spectacular rainbow anyone had ever seen. And what do you suppose was at the end of the rainbow? Why, me, of course. Top of the cartoon to you folks. The name, Oh Furniture, but you can call me Patty. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Garfield. Remember me, huh? the great maker of magic back in season two? Hey, if you're so good at magic, how come you haven't gotten yourself on the show since then? You haven't needed me since then. I need me, he did. Garfield told me how he'd been feeling lately, like his life was boring and didn't matter. It's like it wouldn't have made a bit of difference if I'd never been born. It would have made a big difference. Oh, yeah? Tell me one thing that would have been different if I'd never existed. Well, yeah, you'll do better than that. I'll show you. <gasps> where are we going? To a world where you never existed. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're here? No, we're there. There is not here. We're in a world exactly like the one you lived in, except you never lived in it. Oh, there's a mailman. I'll scare him. That always makes me feel better. <laughs> oh, he can't see us. He can't hear us either. Remember, in this world, you never existed. Ouch. Here you go, Mrs. Goodrich. Who's that woman living in our house? It's not your house in this world. Is that other letter for me? Nope, it's for Mr. Arbuckle. He's the fellow who owned this house before you. He lives over in a mansion on the west side now. Mansion? Come on, I'll show you. A lot of things are different because you aren't around. <laughs> Apparently. Wow. How is John able to afford a place like this? Oh, mainly it's the money he's saving by not having to feed a cat. Ouch. Huh? You want someone to throw the stick so you can fetch it, boy? Oh, Dawes! Stick throwing duty again, sir. 
Mm, please. Very well. Here, Odie. I shall throw the stick and you can fetch it. Again. And again. And again. They don't seem to need me. Hey, Arlene, she always seemed to need me. Well, let's go see. <laughs> oh, Bruno, you always make me feel so beautiful. Oh. Let's go to the park, Ooh. and we can sit under the trees. Arlene and Bruno? Boy, I really don't matter. No, Garfield. <laughs> I brought you here to make you realize you matter for many reasons, and one in particular. Well, I haven't seen... <laughs> hey, what's going on? A state of emergency has been declared for the entire world. It was announced moments ago by President Jim Davis. President Jim Davis? Jim is president in this world? Aye, he doesn't have your comic strip to draw. Whoa. I hope he doesn't mind the loss of prestige. Scientists report the impending invasion by warriors from the planet Parma, a world where people all resemble Earth lasagnas. <laughs> this telescopic footage shot just moments ago shows the invasion forces who intend to enslave us all. <laughs> Landing any minute now. <laughs> In these horrifying times, it is important that everyone remains calm and cool. Even though we're all doomed. Doomed, I tell you! Doomed! <laughs> <laughs> Before your new masters, you will work for us. You will obey us. And you will not eat anything that looks like us. Isn't there anyone who can stop them? There's no one in this world who can stop them. Hold the phone. I can stop them. You can't, Garfield. You were never born, remember? But you can fix that. Make me real. Quick, before my favorite food conquers my favorite planet. Make me really exist here. Well, I shouldn't, but I guess this is an emergency. There seems to be no one in this world who dares stand against us. I dare to stand against you. <laughs> a cat? One lone cat thinks he can defeat the awesome forces of Palma? Private Provolone. Scan the memory cells of this impudent one and show me what he is capable of. Yes, General Gorgonzola. <laughs> this will show us what he has done so we may see he is no threat to us. <gasps> We cannot defeat such a monster. What are we gonna do? I will tell you what we do. Retreat! <laughs> hey, maybe I can make a difference in this world after all. I love that cat. Hey, why'd you drag me away from my adoring public? Because you don't belong in this reality. You said you'd show me a special reason why I mattered. Was that it? Me saving the world? No, that wasn't it, but we'll get to it. Did you enjoy having my butler throw the stick so you could fetch it, boy? <sighs> I know how you feel. It's not the same as having a playmate in the family. I've been thinking, maybe we should have someone else here. Maybe a cat. <laughs> oh, but it couldn't just be any cat. To fit in with us, it would have to be a very special cat. Hmm, smart, funny. Uh, I don't think there's a cat like that in the entire world. Oh, yes, there is. Me, 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 me. Is that the thing you wanted to show me that proves I'm needed? 
No, come with me. Hey, I thought you and Bruno were sweet on each other. We were, but he's just not right for me. The guy I want has to be one of a kind, with a great sense of humor. Someone orange with black stripes. Someone I could do things for, like maybe make lasagna if he liked it. Whoa, that's me. I like lasagna. I'm all those things. Is that the thing you wanted to show me that proves I'm needed? Vito's mm -mm. Pizzeria is out of business? Well, how did this happen? Do not be sad, Vito. You are a great cook. It is not your fault business was so poor. If only I had one more regular customer. One who ate 50 pizzas a week. <laughs> Without me, Vito would have to close down. So that's the thing you wanted to show me that proves I'm needed? No, come with me. You know all those people out there watching this show? If you didn't exist, you know what they'd be looking at right now? No, what? This! Yes! They're still watching. Because you matter! To them, anyway. Wow. <laughs> I guess I do. I think it's time you went home to the place where you belong. Bye now! Garfield. <laughs> I'll be ready on time for our date tonight. Date tonight? Oh, yeah, sure, Arlene, sure. What? <laughs> oh, sure, boy, sure. <laughs> <sighs> I matter. You do, too. And I hope you don't have to go through what I went through to know it. <laughs> 